Even if it would work, like four shadow demons is fine, but then you have a five up. I'd... But maybe. Five yeah. darts. Just need to do care do support now. Lesh. Fights. We're going to use this less right. We're going to use this jug. We're going to just take all your buildings. So yep. yeah, this is a good uh, lineup from PSG. But again, the secret classic. And if they can survive the 25 minutes like they usually do, yeah, it's, it's, it's very fighty, Ted, isn't it? Plenty of options in here as well with the bat as well. Exactly. Yeah, a lot of pickoff potential. Make it their first ever. Let's find it. Why is playing the Shadow Deep? I don't know if they're just having supports. They should still have Sven Darks here, I think. Yeah, you they should, right? Yeah, that down. lane, to me, makes the most sense by far. You just have these two tanky guys that run at you. Uh, I don't really quite understand if they would do it the other way around. Who knows? They could even aggro tri lane is. We do have a Juggernaut against a Bat Rider, which is great. Counter pick shouldn't really be overly threatened by Sticky Napalm, like many safe lane carries are. And the early smoke aggression here as they're going to go to the left and they might just run into Yapsor who's got the high ground and should be perfectly fine. The smoke breaks, they know something's up. And who will be the first team is Yapsor that says it first. A little bit of a greeting to PSG LGD. May not have expected this little wraparound from them, but it was still in good position to get away, especially with the boots first. Every single one of these smoke firsts that I've seen they, uh, very rarely do we get the first blood. Seems like teams are always very well set up on high ground areas. That, of course, coming from our observer, JJ, our man in the sky, as well as Nox providing the stats for us. Vlad in the control room as secret, just holding the line here. The yeah, LGD have just kind of gone all in in this uh, bottom area of the map. <laughs> Leave Juggernaut to top because they know can't really die. And trading two for two bounty runes here. What about our mid matchup? It's going to be the Leshrac versus Shadow Fiends. And he's going to go for the build, right? He's going to go for the Yules build? Yeah. That's where SD is really good too because you can't purge yourself with Yules. Right. Yules defensively on the SF doesn't do anything. So uh, the BKB is going to be pretty important here for him. Good body block blocking. Managed to get with the creep wave, is going to kill all of it and do a lot of damage to Nisha there as he kind of shows up and look at FY. 
He's going to do that thing that we see many supports do at this point. Oh, actually, I thought it was going to be poison, but instead he goes for disruption instead. Yeah, he denies him some creeps, and an SD against Spectre doesn't even feel that bad because of the Desolate. Yeah. You actually can potentially just wreck the Spectre. Uh, plus, you're able to save yourself. You spawn more illusions, you run them with you. It's actually quite a nice uh, counter, plus the break mechanic that you constantly apply yeah. onto the spec. And the illusions can, uh, in this sort of situation, under the tower, can help you just harass under towers. The illusions tank the tier one for you. But FY, he did what he uh, came to do. He just kind of uh, harassed a little bit, leaves lane. Now they're to deal with the oh, bottom puppy almost dying there, but X Nova quite dead. low. And it looks like X Nova is going to be the one to first die. Puppy with the first blood chalice. Now this is this is <laughs> not a surprise to X Nova. We saw he had like I think the third most deaths on average in the first ten minutes. He's definitely a very sacrificial five position. He's going to be able to win chalice. Uh, this creep wave. They're hoping that they get a free lane up at top, and they know that the darks here will cover just fine. So the idea behind it, not oh, Zai getting really low here. Why? Really gonna have any sort of follow up? Is Zai already started eating the tango? But I think what they want to do, anyways, is keep all the focus on this bottom lane. Don't have the Earthshaker rotate towards this mid lane. Yeah, One. that's where things could get. Really dangerous. We're not expecting Leshrac just to die to, to raises, but one Fisher and a double raise nuke. Plus, I think Lush does fine against SF. Yeah. Early. Uh, you have kill potential on him too, which is the really annoying part for SF. But SF, with the help of the Earthshaker, of course, can get kills. And that's exactly why you have Sword hanging around this area. To be invised up. Oh, this could be an oh, idea of it. Fisher's going to go out. There it is. Doesn't give the kill to the SF, takes it for himself with that Fisher. And but a great tip. rotation. It's got to be so frustrating for maybe. He wanted that 1v1. And he's denied that much, the SF. Getting that free lane for that small period of time now means he's 11 and 3. Still a big lead for the Leshrac, 16 and 5, but another Fisher block. As Yapsor returns once again, maybe he's going to run down river. is just going to try and. Harass him up as best as possible. With the south. One, just chasing him to the left. Here and there, as Yapsor doesn't have a fissure for another five seconds, and X Nova's now gonna come in, but he's gonna lay out the stun onto the Shadow Fiend. They shouldn't have enough damage for this. Only yeah. level two lightning, no ulti. If you go this build cap, it's really hard for you to get kills like that. You have to rely on your level six. Once you get your level six, though, kills come aplenty. You get on top of the SF. Can only short raise you if you land a stun. You know, I kind of like this uh, five position matchup, uh, or rather, FY's four. Shadow Demon against the Batrider. Because as long as you get a stick, right, he's going to spam Sticky Napalm, you're going to spam Shadow Poison, and very, very often, Batrider's not going to feel comfortable fighting you because you're also getting these really big stacks. And if FY actually lands one last one, he's it might be it. the kill. It is. That's a solo kill right there for FY. And that, that's why you like the Shattered Demon versus the Bat Rat. Two to one is PSG. HD got their first kill on the board. X Nova's going to be blocked out there by the Fisher. Puppy tried to get in front of him for some body blocking on the way out as well. But the double stun. X Nova getting a little bit low, but he's pinging. He's going to fight Puppy, but I feel like he should just run back. Yeah, the Dark Seer is on me. his way. He's a little close, and he can pop up. Now, Chalice. By trying to deny it, and he, in fact, will take his own. It's be a two for two split. Early smoke from Yapsor. We don't see too many smokes from Team Secret, but Yapsor is closing in on Soul Ring. If he could get one more kill on maybe Slash Track, help mid one catch up again in CS, it would be a big win. But instead, he's going to run the.
bring some items for mid one. They bring a sentry. Oh, they yeah, they got out. it. But they indeed know. Ah, give it to mid one too. Give him that gold. They know. But as long as he has a good landing phase, right, he should show up in this game pretty strong. And Xnova gonna run into Puppy here, but still only level two. Everyone's just rotating. And look at Xnova, he's just booking it. Straight to mid one. They do manage to get the disruption. There is going to be the haunt out. Mid one's gonna be hit by the storm bolt, but Xnova doesn't have any damage and himself. Down low. And why is gonna be eventually run down by Nisha. With the fatal bonds on maybe it made it so the Lestrak just really couldn't commit too much, even as the The hunt being used, not too bad. I might just die here. Actually, no, he's gonna get healed up though, and Yaps are still sticking around the area. X Nova gonna leave with the stun, the follow up from the Lush Rack. Salsa lets them get a potential. Still a lot of poisons, the long range disruption, one more poison out, but mid one, he's already healed enough. Yaps are once again. Just great positioning by him, always being able to get these defensive fissures. And they know they wanna go aggressive on the SF to at least trade out kills to even up maybe his lane and. The Shadow Fiend should be a very easy kill for them, theoretically. So they're gonna run into Chalice here. Chalice actually running through the SF, but the, the safety of X Nova will be just a little bit, but uh, they did use the haunt just to get the kill on exchange. And it does mean that the jug having a uh, like yeah. we talked about, it's impossible for the Batrider. It's, um, unless Ame really messes up, it should be impossible for him to die. What do you think about this support Sven so far? Every single time I look at one of these ganks, I always think to myself, like, man, an Earth Spirit or, or um, Spirit Breaker or something would have provided a lot more damage. To what they're ganks. probably trying to do is bait Secret uh, into thinking it was going to be the carry Sven. Yeah. Switch things around. They last picked the Jug. So you have the hard counter to the Bat Rider as well. But Radiant it's a bit risky. You're hiding your draft at the cost of having a hero that you don't really want to have. Bit of uh, suboptimal support hero Patat says they are going to go on to Nisha. A lot of damage coming out from that Ion Shell, but the Fissure with the Fatal Bonds means X Nova is actually dropping really fast here for the Omni Slash. Dicks on Nisha not all the way, but all that healing! And it actually ends up on the worst possible side. Yeah. If he could have stuck on the Spectre, if the last bounce had stuck on him, he would have been able to get a spin and perhaps Nisha would have died, but... Yeah, Nisha definitely would have died. He had no dagger. At least PSG LGD have created the space to maybe take this tier one tower. That was so unlucky. Yeah. It was very lucky, and then it became... themselves. The Bat Rider is now rotated to the tier one. He's going to try and cut off some of these heroes. He doesn't have the lasso, but he can slow him down with a sticky napalm. FY. He's definitely going to be caught here. Disruption going out. They're really going to try and fight this one. Ame showing up with the spin. Only doing a limited amount of damage. Now they do have the lasso. He picked up level seven off of that kill. That means they're going to be able to maybe catch Ame, but they actually can't do it up. But now maybe it's here to be able to run down Yapto. That's going to be one. Hot out. Doing a lot of damage to maybe he dies underneath the tier one tower. Nisha didn't even have to commit for it. He goes for the back line. He's going to go for X Nova. One more swing down the Gets it, he does! A long range swing from Nisha, finishes off the tanky Sven. This Juggernaut doesn't have TP, so they're on the hunt. War does go down, but... ...BSG LGD before they went for this long wraparound from FY. I mean, they were just, just desperate. To to find a hero, but I felt like they could have taken the tier one there. I mean, this feels like the story of all three games. They yeah. get a little bit over aggressive under tier one towers and seeker responds. Uh, despite all that, they were still able to win game number one, but game number two, Nisha. Oh, the split earth is just a bit shy. Maybe he felt like he wasn't close enough to hit it off the disruption, trying to go for the lightning slow first. They will secure themselves the bounty runes. Yeah, three bounty runes. It's great for PSG LGD. As they're trying to cut down the small net worth lead that Secret has right now by taking towers, taking map control. So I felt like uh, PSG LGD, from my perspective anyway, Blitz, I, I thought they were going to walk away from the laning phase with a net worth advantage. Me too. I thought uh, that...
crazy reason. Uh, Secret still have a net worth lead. Combination of Yapsor's successful rotations, which has led him up there in net worth, and then also the way they've shut out this Dark Seer. He really, Chalice has not gotten that much out of the off lane. Now that all these heroes keep on showing up in his lane, really trying to pressure this tier one tower. They're going to go for it though with a fatal bond. Threatening to go on. They're going to drop it now. Long enough to be able to get the lasso on to maybe once again. Maybe shows up in the bottom lane and dies almost immediately. X Nova. Very ambitious. Optimistic TP there, my friend. And the Yules being queued up by mid one. Wants that jump combo. And look how much damage he's getting on this mid tier one while the Leshrek's still dead. He might even be able to uh, claim the tower. And they're pinging like crazy. This is his time to recover right now. Yeah. He's still quite far behind the Leshrek when it comes to net worth. But it's just sort of the nature of the heroes. Secret just is really not letting that Leshrak get the ball rolling when it comes to killing heroes and then taking towers. And it's buying the SF a lot of comeback time is eight to two. 1,000 net worth lead for Team Secret at 12 minutes in. He's securing an Arcane Rune for the Leshrak. Radiance Who might just need to take a little bit of farming time here. I mean, how important is that Yule Scepter, do you think, for fighting against Team Secret? Uh, it's a really nice hard reset. It sets up kills on the Shadow Fiend. It makes it so that uh, you always get the jump. It's good to set up on Yapsor. It acts as a very good defensive tool, too. Plus the hard dispel. Speaking of Yapsor, he uh, did go with the Soul Ring and Tranquil Boots, so it's the full support, easy regen build. So we can always stay on map and always get some farm out of these lanes, but now we're gonna find Puppy here. Maybe he's making his way over. He knows the Team Seeker are very likely to still take this fight, but the Fate of Bonds on to. Now they managed to get the Lasso out as well. Disruption going down, thanks to that Fisher. They managed to stall up PSG LGD long enough they can follow with the Echo Slam to kill the Shadow Demon to spin on top of multiple heroes, but now they do manage to get the hold on it. Maybe once again, they just keep on doing this, and they beat him down with the help of Yapter and all these heroes. They're tanky enough, much like game one, where Ami's Ami gotta fight his gonna way out. The Ami Slash is gonna need a spin away in two seconds time, almost has it. Actually does manage to get a surge from the low ground from his Dark Seer. A really good play by Chalice to ensure at least the carry doesn't die, and maybe they kill Zai as well. Give the extra boost to movement speed to Exno. With the Angel, he'll get the dominating streak of Zai. So that, that fight was terrible for PSG LGD, but at least it ends on a happy note. I need them to, in this series, to stop trying to kill Puppy. You. I mean, he's got a heal, and he's got decent stats. Pull the creep wave off the tower, but it doesn't matter. Mid one recognizes that it's low enough he can commit, and PSG LGD. I mean, they're trying to commit for the safe lane tower, but Zai actually thinks that maybe he can defend it or something. They're doing a lot of fatal bonds damage. Look at that. And he does get it, and that's impressive considering Batrider. Not a great animation. One of the lower base damages that you'll get, as we see here again. I, they do it under the shrine, so there's so much time to respond. He's got yeah. 1,200 HP, raindrops, and a stick. Plus his heal. He hides in the corner. Also, that duo has no damage. That support duo? Just not that great at being able to burst down these heroes because the Sven is pretty low on damage. They needed maybe to get a, a bit closer, but by the time he shows up, the Batrider and the SF are already there. You have to hit that really good Fisher as well. That's why we don't see Sven often as a, uh, as a support because half of his toolkit doesn't actually help you at all as a yeah. support. His cleave and his ulti are effectively just kind of useless on you because you have no items. You're never going to really find opportunities to utilize that as I finds the pickoff, lines it up for the raises for mid one. The healing ward's going to go down too on. I mean, going to spin his way out of this one as Chalice. Oh, the Yules there. Are they going to be able to slow him down? Yeah, they've got him. The upheaval, the sticky napalm. What I also like about this is Batrider. Right, we've got the golem that can drop just for a you know a small second. It's all the bat rider needs to close that distance. Same goes with the Fisher. If you if you're a fan of PSG LGD though, everything's still okay because your top two cores 
still lead the game. And they only need like one really good pick off to start breaking away. They're gonna try and go for Nisha here, but seeing the mass teleports. Okay, I like this. PSG LGD just kind of resetting and saying, you know, that's good enough. We actually forced a lot of TPs. Yeah, this jug is still getting very good farm. Uh, this Lush Rack is still Ooh. getting very good farm despite the deaths. That's that's not good for a PSG LGD though. Uh, yeah, I'm sure it's a blink dagger at 16 minutes. So Steam now you've got a game. big team fight item. Still, despite all that and the 13 to 3 kill lead and the mid tower that they took, plus the deny tower at bottom, it's only 1k in favor of Team Secret. Yeah. They could just find a way to take this tier 1 mid, start opening up the map a bit more for them themselves. Yeah, I still think this is a very 50 50 ish game. Is it going to run into Zai here? Omni Slash. Oh no, it went onto the goal. Up. Great use of that by Puppy. Now the Yule Scepter. They know he still has mid, so they can't mark him in, but a great Fisher. Now the Echo Slime from Yamza revealing the Blink Dagger. Kill the carry of PSG LGD. We said that point. They need to. They can actually create this out though. This would be okay. Zai's so going to TP in. They're going to use the glyph to make sure the creep survives. So Nisha's still going to fall. And now all this AOE damage. He actually lassoed up the last track, but he's taking too much. He will be able to fly away as Yapsor once again comes to the rescue. Bouncing back Chalice. They do manage to get the storm, but Yule Scepter stopping him. Managed to get off that, uh, that surge down. And now X Nova slowed down to a crawl. Yapsor. Can blink in front of if he wants to make that kind of commitment. FY is going to come forward. They do manage to kill Zai with a disruption onto the SS, slowing down this damage. Still another enchant totem hitting on X Nova, and they're just going to let loose the ultimate just in case. The SF wanted to make sure that they could not go. Doesn't feel like PSGL very successfully. No, it feels very rushed. Yeah. We're gonna see here again at bottom lane. Ami. You see Hero just cast it immediately. But like secret, it feels like every single fight, PSGL GD, even though they're the ones starting the engagement, Secret has more heroes there. Yeah, it's just really how they operate. Don't let lone heroes get picked off. Try to save everybody. Get out as clean as possible. Do you see Nisha? I, he knows he messed up too. Yeah. He got caught mid. I was very surprised to see him in mid lane out of all the lanes, but also past the river at all. That so far in the battle of Burning's tier one carries. Oh, that's right. Burning did say both. Uh, he had Ame and Nisha as his, as his kind of top tier S tier carries. And uh, right now anyway, Team Secret is coming out on top when it comes to this series as far as they're carrying in this game. I actually feel like it, it, it's come more down to everybody else on the team, right? Because the games have oftentimes become one. And Ami. Not the kind of impact that they're hoping from their star player who is going to go for the Radiant Struggle not build. He's gonna need to get something like a Lincoln's though at some point, I think. He just needs HP. There's so many different ways to burst him. They have two different ways to cut through uh, the spin TP, which really cuts the Juggernaut's effectiveness. Oh, there's the Radiance from the Spectre. This is a scary item. They do have Healing Ward, which is one of the best ways to deal with it. Yeah. But then, uh, Secret, they also have Beto Bots. We've seen how effective that has been in many of these fights. 18 to 5, 1k gold lead for Secret. PSG LGD, every single time they lose a team fight, they just split up and farm. Everybody else is still hitting creeps. They still have their team. It does seem like one of the strengths of PSG LGD is that even when they're losing fights, they still don't fall that far behind in net worth. Yeah, that's the strength of both these teams, uh, in a way. Kind of weird. They yeah. just have cores that continue to pick up pace. We see our odds. GG bet odds, very favorable for Team Secret. As this is, I mean, just watching game one and game two does seem like Secret once again are 
having that advantage by 25 minutes. We'll see if they can get another pick off on Nisha. It would be massive. The purge is slowing him down. It does a lot, but nobody from PSG LGD can follow. That delay looked like it took a while. Yeah. Oh, look at that. He's got a shrine active. I'm surprised that they decided to go for the drug uh, radiance, by the way, considering you have the SD illusions. Oh, yeah. What do you think a, a better build would be then? The Diffusal Manta or... Plus you have SD, like you can just send the illusions out to deal with waves, like they'll just push out naturally, they're very strong. Yeah. You have your own radiance uh, when you disrupt the S, uh, the Spectre. Mm -hmm. So like, feels a little bit redundant in a way. Die, he knows he's been spotted. Smoke's gonna pop, X Nova. Oh, Flame Break only knocking him to the side, not backwards, and he's gonna turn around. He managed to get the Storm Bolt off. So, Zai's smoke is gonna be ruined. They do get a heavy put. Managed to accomplish that. There's gonna be the haunt. They thought they found him in time, but Yapsor, who was smoked up running this. The M gets out, PSG LGD, they actually just got all four. Yeah, now this gold lead is cut to barely 1k, and this was kind of the concern as we saw the kill score get racked up, but the actual gold never really fluctuated. It's been 1k this entire time. After Roshan, it got all the way up to two, but that's the largest lead that I've personally seen this game. We saw from the, uh, the bounty tracker there, gotten about 3,000 of their net worth advantage on the side of PSG LGD from all the extra bounties they've gotten. The Liquid Secret top.
Roshans. All the West, the top tier Western teams. LGD near the bottom of that list with Alliance. I mean, Alliance lost all but two of their games, so it's not too surprising. They can get a lot of opportunities oh, as they get the jump. Last, so they're going to try and get him with the Haunt here. Throw everything they have in this jungle now. Try and count down to the ground. They do manage to get him. No buyback available either, so this is not a fight that PSG LGD can win. All they can do is try and stem the loss as much as possible, but Zai, he just keeps on running forward. He managed to find now FY, bounce back from the flame break, mid one, jumping forward. They're gonna try and go for the Centaur, Sun do manage to get a really good wall out as well with this soul five, but maybe they can, nah, they're just running out of damage at this point, especially since maybe couldn't successfully TP in. If he's gotten that boots of travel and maybe been able to run down some heroes with his pulse nova, they could have killed something. But I think they canceled actually because of mid one's BKB pop. Ah, uh, yeah, probably. It's very hard to fight that at that point, and it's just a good jump overall by Secret. They still have the Warlock Rock, and I really, I need to see this Juggernaut and his build sort of play out. Yeah. It's been a disappointing performance for Ame, who's zero two and two right now. Secret, win a fight, push in top, and they don't immediately break apart. They'll send the uh, the SF to bottom lane. We're gonna look at that fight again. Just that rapid initiation, especially with the Absor ready to go on the side. Even if there was a bunch of PSG LGD heroes ready to jump in, the Absor could have just echoed slammed them instead of committing for the Juggernaut. Yeah. So. It was pretty much a, a well set up fight for Secret. And, and I feel like that's the big difference between these two teams. We've seen LGD rush a lot of their engagements. I mean, most of the time, they're sending their Jug in for, uh, first to try to be in the forefront. He gets jumped on, and they have so much control that they can just burst him every time. As soon as they get the Batman, that's a lasso and a haste rune. They've got a Yule Scepter for this last track, but I don't know how he survives. They're going to drop the Golem. Yeah, so it gets on top of him as well with his Blink Dagger and Chan Totem hit. And just poking it over there. Oh, that wasn't the play. Man, one accidentally Yule Sceptering himself. He did get the kill though, on the at the last hit on the lash. Yep. So he's okay for gold. Dying Absolutely. Are Manta Illusions pushing out top lane, but secret. Yules. Fisher setting up these raises, just keeping X Nova controlled up, and I don't know about this blitz. Maybe he was still dead. Ame was only just TPing to that shrine. I feel like you can't afford these kind of pickoffs. Ame just kind of challenging here, looking to kill that creep wave. Going to spin in and out as they're going to get Fisher in for the side. They do manage to get the Omni slash on the puppy, so that'll be a freebie. Not sure how much they can chase, especially as they lose their centaur. Trade uh, the Darkseer creep for Puppy, so the gold is actually pretty even. <laughs> that, that is true. It's the XP, and you just need to get Ame on the board, I feel. Yeah, he needed that kill. Uh, Radiant Mass. will hunt you. Once they get a Scythe of Ice on this uh, Shadowfiend, or it's just one more thing they have to worry about, right? For the Juggernaut, when it comes to that hard initiation. Yeah, that's why you, I feel like you would have preferred to see a different build from him. But that's okay. He's hard committed to this, and who might have say? Double boots of travel. Feels like Team Secret is everywhere around the map. Especially when they have so much mobility and movement speed and blink daggers as well. I believe that was an Octarine I just saw finished up. Has to be for the Lesh, right? Yeah, our Lesh rank is. Yeah. Got that complete now. He's going to go for a BKB next. That's yeah. his counter, I think, to the Spectre uh, dispersion. Yeah. But at the same time, like, a BKB would feel. I think a lot better for this next engagement, how much magic damage they have. I think so too, but I imagine the reason why he goes for it is for the raw HP that it serves you as well. Yeah. Plus, Octarine just feels really good on Lash. If they can success, if they get this Octarine and they can win the next fight, it'll mean our, our Lash track is going to scale better later into the game, right? Yeah. 
That's definitely something that PSG LGD, you got to be a bit worried about right now because this game has stalled out. The 4,000 net worth for Team Secret. I can't imagine you're going to get one of those giant windfalls you got. Game one, especially with this kind of movement around the map, always finding these pickoffs. Dude, Zai's been everywhere. Zai. In this game. How can you stop this? <laughs> this guy when he's running at like 500 movement speed. He has set up the last like six kills, I think, for Team Secret, and he's found cores every single time. He's not finding some FY, finding either Ame or he's finding maybe just punishing them. And now top two net worths in the game belong to Secret. The net worth lead, it just continues to steadily climb. SF getting in position right now, gets disrupted. They're trying to save Chalice here. Zai still on the hunt. Doesn't have his ulti quite yet. He's going to get purged. But is there a follow-up on it? Vacuum as well. X Nova didn't have that storm hammer ready to go just yet. Now they're gonna get the upheaval. X Nova knowing that he's in trouble. The Echo Save jumping to the high ground. They managed to get the juggernaut. Can they lock him down? Managed to get the spin. Now they get the shrine. shrine. Can they actually fight underneath this one? They've got the healing ward as well. That one dies. As mid one committed his BKB, the Yule Scepter. Okay, they just managed to stop. Chalice in his place as soon as he goes for the surge. PSG LG actually thought they're gonna go back in for this fight, but now they've been fighting Wales up. And now they lost their carry as the lasso. The double hit from the raise with the fatal bonds that wipes PSG LGD on their side of the map. So Team Secret are healthy enough. They're ready to go for a high ground push. The creep wave is right here. They've got the golem down on the ground. Zai, the perfect timing back for his ultimate. And the Juggernaut didn't get his off the entire engagement. Yeah. They needed that damage. It looked like it was going to be a great reset for them too. The Echo Slam didn't do nearly enough. They got the Shrine off. They got the Healing Ward, but just no real opportunities for them to fight. I think part of the problem too is the fact that they're spent, that they picked up, we just haven't seen it do anything. Yeah. It didn't win the lane, uh, he doesn't really contribute nearly as much as Puffy does when we just compare the five positions. And it looks even worse when, as you said, this whole entire drafting concept was to be able to give you a better carry last yes. pick, right? Where you were like, ah, oh, you thought it was just Sven, but surprise, it's actually Juggernaut. But our Juggernaut has had no game whatsoever either. Yeah, so they're going to, uh, you see the fight right here. Ame, you can see mid ulti, gets Yul Sceptered up. I mean, Secret, this should be a bad fight for them. They chase uphill, they don't yeah. kill the Jug, the Rock doesn't really do anything, everyone's at full HP. But Ame just does no damage, especially as you can see, he was like totally out of that fight. They, yeah. Somebody must have made the call to try and fight again. But Ame has not had much of a game, and there's no maybe. So they pretty much are out of damage at that point. Plus the Fatal Bonds. Can we actually compare the uh, five position hero damage? Oh yeah, because uh, the Fatal Bonds is doing massive amounts of work in this game. You can see the damage dealt are spent only upon 5.7k. Not to Stormhammer! That's a beauty, but they do manage to get their four staffs as well. Their BKB is low. as low though. They're going to be able to finish them off. The Spectre Illusions running forward with the Radiance Burn as well. Puppy just saying, I'm going to give up my life. Lay it down just to make sure at least mid one escapes from this. And it looks like the Absor will as well as Ame spots him a little bit late. They finally get a pretty decent fight together. Darkseer setting all of that up. And PSG LGD, they have really good pushing power, so win a fight. Him. They're going to be able to go for tier twos, and I say absolutely go for it here. Go for the full lane of Rax. At least try and force the buyback out of the Spectre, which we know she actually doesn't have. PSG LGD, they got to play for a win. And part of what uh, allowed them to win game number one was of their decisiveness. And they're going to go for it again. They see the opportunity. Secret. They don't want to hard engage. Mid one doesn't have buyback himself or the BKB. So this should be a free tier 3 tower and all of a sudden PSG LGD, they found their way into the base. They might actually be even in racks after this. They do have Echo Slam as well as Lasso. So PSG LGD do need to be careful as they leave the base to make sure none of their carries get picked off. But Zai, he's not going to go for it. Team Secret playing it super safe. And PSG LGD really evening out the game. They just lost their mid lane of Barracks. Managed to win a fight, take Secrets away. Goes to show that even if Secret is ahead, five, six, seven thousand net worth, this game can turn on a dime against them. We saw the hero damage difference between X Nova and the Warlock, but yeah, what was the uh, oh, 14,000 compared to 6.6k for this fan? Not to mention our old Warlock can also do some healing. 
DKB oh, goes to the top the lane. They're gonna run into FY here. A quick pounce from Team C for an easy kill, but nothing that is game defining. So I'm not sure if uh, Team Secret to feel confident enough. Well, no. Maybe just uh, a Shadow Demon pickoff is enough for them to do Roshan. We'll have to see. It is going to be a tough fight, though. PSG LTD, they have the Wall of Replica up for the Darkseer. And there's pretty much no better engagement than a Roshan fight for that ability. Yeah, they pop back with FY. They want to hard commit to this. Yeah, coming, coming in from the side. It's going to be able to kill some vision to start things off. Just make sure they have an advantage. There's going to be the hot mid one pops BKB. And in turn, there's going to be the goal. They drop the SF ultimate. They will be able to finish off the Shadow Demon. That's a dive back. But now the other side is six on the It's only hitting the rock. The rock doesn't even die to all of that. The SF is fine. Nisha's at half health. And he's ready to go back in as well as he sees that Ame feels uncomfortable with this. He's actually just going to keep going. He doesn't really have a ton of ba uh, like backup here. Yeah, the SD popped back for that and died. He's gonna get stunned up right now. The Lincoln's is Ooh, popped, but he manages his way off. He's just trying to stick around the wall at this point. Yeah. All the Secret have to do is just play patient. They do have this big push that's coming in the bottom lane. It's nice, but Secret, no. That losing a tier three there is, isn't gonna change the game. What is gonna change the game is this Roshan fight. 30 seconds for this SD. The wall finally finishes up. They still have the big Echo Slam. Zai went in for it, but in the wrong order. Oh, that, that, that came back. This is a four man. A four man done. Ame spinning on in the splitter. It's only going to be able to catch the warlock here. The self goes on to mid one. They need to be able to finish off the radiant first. He brings it down. Hey, go slam that from the end door. That's going to be able to finish off the spin in the dark here, but Ame still plenty healthy. He's just like, more. not enough to keep Ame alive. He does have buyback. They need to be able to get Ame out of here and reset, but he actually spins it, goes for it. TP's away. Decides better. Thinks the outro is going to kill. He may be able to have it too, especially with maybe. Cuts him off with the boots of travel. Now, maybe he's gonna run to mid one as well. Who has a fresh BKB, but Zai was the buyback. Zai does not have the last so they have the fatal bonds on maybe as well. Slowing out of the upheaval. He self fuels Ame spinning in, trying to help him out the four seconds. They need to disrupt the ball, trying to chase him down. They need to be able to save baby. They need to almost save, but no! It's outside the stop! Spectre, Dagger trying to get to him. The purge, he's catching up, he's catching up, he burns him! Ever so barely, he gets the die back on baby! And Ame! Trying to fight this one out. He sees some supports. He's gonna be able to go for Puppy here. Chase him down with the spin. A uh, self golem though. Explosion. It's, it's just Ame. They are already booking the list. They're gonna be able to grab with the lasso as well. He hits the enchant on him. He's dead. He has a five back. Dark tears up in five. Spin up in 15. And secret. They don't have the power, I think, to take this Roshan. But they're gonna try. Actually, Roshan super low. It's only a 2k HP. Dark Seer. He's gonna be too far away. Ame. He can't TP out, so they are going to be able to get the Aegis and Sheath. Now they have to make sure they don't get picked off here. There's no lasso, but there is a Yules. Ame oh, still in the area. He's, He's going to be careful. They do have the star member. They're the back and once again. Oh, a great setup. Nisha's in trouble, but they still manage to finish up their darks here. But Nisha, he's about to fall here. His first life is gone. A very healthy Ame. But X Nova's being beaten down by this uh, Golem as he takes out from the flame ring bit by bit. Looks like the Radiance Burn. They will be able to find him. Ame has his Lincoln broken. They're going to try and haunt over into him. But he's underneath their shrine right now. And I think Seeker realizing that they're not so sure about this fight. Zai's going to keep the Seeking Napalm up. But they're just going to go for every other hero. Why is it Ame? He does manage to get the purge. And he's going to be breaking Nisha for a little while. But Ame wants to be able to get Zai instead. He's being kited so much by this. He's got the ult. He's down with the lasso. He's holding him down. He's just beating a one, two, three, and that's it. Five dead from LG with no buybacks. 30 seconds left on the majority of PSG LGD. You see Yapsor hold his heart right there as everyone bought back for that fight. And Secret barely hold on. What a fantastic job they did with kiting Zai lived throughout that entire engagement. Absolutely insane by our bat rider, just always kiting these heroes around with a constant sticky napalm, setting Nisha up in a good position. It's not going to be the end of the game, but it's a one fight for Team Secret. They and it are... looks so good for PSG LGD here. Yes. When they stack them all together. But he managed to get once again that vacuum. They have the Omni Slash with the wall out, but still, they're doing so much damage to Nisha that all the dispersion damage just bounces back, kills the Darkseer, brings the spend super low.
Once again, oh, the light found somebody. The ultimate challenge is going to be hit by the golem as well. He does have that surge. Another Yule Seventh are going down. They're going to pop the BKB for mid one. They really want the Starks here. They saw how much power he does in these teams. They're all slow. He's going to come from the side. They managed to get the back. Yamato the Chalice is still dead. Maybe he's going to try and run down mid one, but he realizes he can't commit, especially with Nisha in the way. So instead, maybe they can go for Zai, who slides out four right now. Managed to get the flame break. Pop over the side. Still another 40 seconds for the carries. Juggernaut and Sven. They're gonna Shattered go for throw. They're gonna go straight for the throw. They know. They saw it. They saw the way. Maybe. Oh, they couldn't defend. One versus five. Maybe he's certainly not gonna be able to do the same. But their damage is so slow. Maybe finally makes his way back to the fountain here. He's gonna have this by himself. One. A is gonna go. He's got the ulti. Ame, I mean, if he could just find like 10 seconds time, enough for the Sven and Ame to be able to come back up. But now the throne is exposed. Even if the damage is slow, it is inevitable here. Maybe he finds his opportunity, but they're going to call it here even before they go for the bad ride. And that is it, Team Secret. LGD made it a little bit close. Close it out in the end of the game three. They are going to the... performance that was